My name is Arvin. Today we're going to read is Captain and the Peasant, the Perilous Plot of Professor Poopy Pants, Chapter 5, The Fun Begins. An hour or so later, the bus had returned to the school. All of the children got up, packed up their stuff, and got ready to go home. Mr. Fight, the science teacher, was on school bus duty. The rest of the teachers gathered around George and Harold and began teasing them. You sure, you kids sure did miss a fun field trip, said Miss Ribble. The pizza was so delicious, too bad you didn't get any. I want you to bring you back a pizza, said Mr. Meaner. But he ate it on the bus. He threw an empty pizza box at George and Harold's feet. And the teachers howled with laughter. Maybe you can lick the cheese off the box, Mr. Carp roared. The teachers eventually got tired of taunting George and Harold, so they retreated to the teacher's lounge to relax. Hey, how come it's so dark in here? Asked Mr. Mean as he flicked on the lights. The ceiling fan began rotating very slowly. Miss Ribble went to the sink and turned on the faucet. Suddenly, the spray nozzle sprayed cold water all over her. Ah! She screamed, somebody throw the water off. The other teachers sprang up and tried to help. They all got sprayed too. The ceiling fan was rotating faster now and some of the powder paste had begun flying off the fan blades. The teachers struggled with the faucet, <coughs> pushing and shoving each other. Finally, somebody turned the water off, but not before everyone was thoroughly soaked. The ceiling fan was now spinning at full speed. All the powder on the fan blades had been flung off, and it was now floating down onto the wet teachers. Hey, what the, cried Mr. Meaner. What's all this sticky stuff, yelled Miss Anthro. By now, all of the teachers were covered in gooey, sticky paste. It didn't take a genius to know that George and Harold were behind all this. Those brats better not have touched my diet soda, Miss Ribble shouted. She dashed to the refrigerator and swung the door open. Swish! Suddenly, thousands of tiny styrofoam pellets flew out into the room. The wind from the ceiling fan blew the pellets around and around. Naturally, they landed on the stickiest things in the room. The teachers! Ah! screamed the teachers. They ran out of the teacher's lounge, screaming and yelling. George and Harold saw what looked like a group of giant evil snowmen heading straight toward them. I got a good idea, said George. What? said Harold. Run, said George. Thank you. Like and subscribe. Bye!